coming in hot. Woo! He's just above seven feet tall. Woo! One of the greatest basketball players in NBA history. Number 34, Shaquille. to you everywhere you go. Nope, only on your show. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you, 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 people just really, I mean, we put on a little bit, like we had lights, but that's really how people react to you. You get out of cars, you walk into restaurants. I just like making people smile. You know, they, I, I think when they see me, they know that they see a guy that's very relatable. Mm -hmm. No entourage, no bodyguards, they just see a regular guy. And yeah, I, I found Shaq in the green room back there. I just went back, we started playing piano. You're very good on the ivories, Shaq. Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> Tickling the keys. Tickling the keys, I like that one. And What's, the fashion on this guy, Brother, you, you, you got the plaid you, going? You, you know what it was? For so long, big guys never had a style. Our mm -hmm. style was very old school, very plaid, and I got sick and tired of it. Of course, I used to press the envelope, but... It just cost me two, three thousand dollars to get a suit like this. To get it custom yeah, done for you. To get it custom. So finally, I went to J.C. Penney and said, "Listen, big guys are tired of wearing plaids and the bland colors and the beige jacket and the khakis. We want to wear what guys like you wear." So uh, Amy Sage and you know all the uh, uh, top people at J.C. Penney, you know, we put together some hot designers and we're coming out with some hot lines at a very, very affordable price. And I think I finally gave big guys a chance to look Be and cool. feel sexy. Look because cool. Yeah, because sexy comes in, you know, many, many different, you know, forms of fashion. Yes, then, it does. Then I did, <laughs> then I did, then I said, you know what, as I'm riding and looking at the magazine, there aren't any big models. So I got with Will and Mina and we did our, our JCPenney Big and Tall Model wait, Search. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yes. hang on. Wait. There are no Chef, Big and Tall Models. You call Will and Mina and you're like, what up? I want real guys that yes. really are going to wear my stuff. Well, really? I, I, I didn't say it like that. I was very, you know, professional. I said, <laughs> I, I think you guys should have a big and tall division. Uh, and, you know, so it came up, uh, I, I think they labeled it the Titan division. I said, because there's a lot of big, beautiful guys. So we had over 15,000 people enter. Wow. We picked three winners, but there were a lot of, there were a lot of good looking guys. And, you know, for the first time, you know, big guys were, were always in our shell. Mm -hmm. When they came out to this, they said, man, I get a chance to be a I model. Love that. I get a chance to be with Will and Men. So these guys were coming out, they were singing, and it, it was, it, it was actually beautiful. We were talking. You, you rocked. You've been rich for a long time. Long time. But we wondered, like, had you ever made any fashion mistakes? Oh, all like, the time. Did you ever do hammer pants? <laughs> yeah, all the time. All you the did, time. Shaquille O'Neal did hammer pants? Yeah, all the time. Uh, I need we need a that. visual. Yeah. We're going to have to find <laughs> that. We need that. I, I, used to, I used to press the envelope. I used to say, I'm not afraid to wear this. Mm -hmm. I'll do this. I'll do that. The older I got, I became a little bit more professional, started wearing suits, but... Look, I was gold chains, earrings, I was I was hammer pants, yeah, I was all that. Is it true way back in the day, too? I think it maybe was your first millions, or you spent a million dollars in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. What, what, how? What'd you really get? Really, a million dollars? Yeah, I mean, well, keep in mind, well, as, as you all know, I didn't know who FICO was. <laughs> I never heard of him. So, yep, that'll get you every get time. You. So, in my mind, I, I thought I had a million. So, I went and bought a Mercedes, it was 150. I came home, my father said, that's a nice car, where's mine? I was like, you're right. You know, I did math in my head, 150 minus a million, I still got 850 left. Yeah. So I bought him one, came back, bought my mother one. And you know, being a youngster, I had to go get the bling bling, I had to go get a couple suits, I had to get the Alpine radio with the pull-out deck. <laughs> wait, 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 can we get a, we need a close-up of this. Look, y'all don't, I don't know oh, that y'all see. wow. Like, this is, it spins. You know. All of the it's camping. a disco ball. Do you see? Do you see <laughs> it spinning, <laughs> brother? You know what? No, because you know what? Well, That'll one, shut him down. One day I was I was I was feeling good about myself, and I had all four of my rings on, and my mother said, "You look obnoxious." She said, "Wear one at a time. Don't ever wear four. Right. You're showing off. Don't do that, baby." I so love. I said, "You know what?" Because I always want to let people know that I got four, so I came <laughs> up with this, and I just put it on one ring, uh, you know, put it on one finger, and it looks pretty good. I love the relationship you have with your family, and especially your mom. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody the story about how she brokered the friendship between you and Barkley, between you and Charles. 
Well, uh, no, Charles, Charles, Charles' mother and my mother had been best friends for 15, 20 years. I never knew that. So the time that me and Barkley had a fight, <laughs> when I got to the <laughs> locker room, my mother was on the phone and Charles' mother was on the phone. Charles' mother was like, don't you hit my boy. I was like, who is this? She was like, that's uh, Charles' mom. I was like, oh, hello, ma'am. How you doing? Y'all don't need to be fighting. I just talked to Charles. He going to meet you in the hallway. Y'all hug it out, and y'all stop that. Y'all don't need to be fighting. And I'm like, what? And so I called my mom. I said, how do you know her? He said, oh, we've been best friends for 50 years. So finally, so finally, I seen them two together playing cards. And it's the same relationship that me and Charles oh. have. Arguing, <laughs> acting crazy, you know, talking smack. But uh, I do not dislike Charles. I actually love Charles as an older brother. But <laughs> we're at the point in our lives where we can have conversations, whether heated or not, as long as they're respectful. Still in love. Still in love. That's we it. were together on my 40th birthday with you and Charles. I was hosting 40, I, thought you, I thought you were 27. Thank you. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, sure, we were yeah. out for Shaq versus. That was such Hold a fun a show. You're sitting a little too close oh, to me. Oh, okay. Thank no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Let me. Okay, you're right. Okay, go ahead. And Big man over so there. Funny. Yeah. You and I were cutting up doing something. He just said, "Kid, you so small." That's what Barkley <laughs> said yeah, to me. Yeah. He was yeah. all. You yeah. so small. Uh, sit tight. We have so much more with Shaq coming up. We got a little gift game. Yeah, we do. You got. You got game. game. But we want to know, do you got gift? Look, look. Listen, I do that one all the time. Bow, bow. We're making sure. Okay, I thought you said you was giving me a gift. <laughs> that too. Yeah, okay, got it. I'm like, yeah, got it. Okay. Got it. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.